Daddy, played by Hanley Stafford, has made a bargain with Snooks. He told her if she behaved perfectly for an entire week, she could have a pony. By some miracle, Snooks behaved. And so we find them both at the Riding Academy, where Daddy intends to make the purchase. Listen. Hurry up, Daddy. Now, just take it easy, Snooks. And you're going to buy me the pony? Yes, I'll buy you the pony. I promise you I would. But there's no use buying the first pony we look at. Why? Well, the man may try to palm off some worthless animal. Do you want me to buy a cat in the bag? <laughs> What's the matter? He said you were going to buy me a pony. I know I did. Well, I don't want no cats. I'm not going to buy any cats. I just want to be sure we get a healthy pony, that's all. Is it going to be a real live one, Daddy? Yes. <laughs> can I ride it? Yes, you can ride it. Look. How would you like a milk-white pony? <laughs> can I milk it? <laughs> Whoever heard of such nonsense, you can milk a pony. Why? Because you milk cows. Buy me a cow. Now listen, Snooks. Before I talk to this man, I want to be sure you don't drive me crazy. Are you positive you want a pony? Positive. And will you promise to be good for a whole year? I promise. All right. Let's walk around the stables and look them over. All right. Look at Daddy. What is it? There's a man building a horse. Building a horse? Uh-huh. He's nailing on the feet. <laughs> oh, silly, he's a blacksmith. How do you know his name? I don't know his name. I said he was a blacksmith. He looks white to me. He is white. Then why did you say A that? blacksmith is a man who puts shoes on horses. Huh? Before you can ride a horse, he has to be shod. With a gun? No. When they put horseshoes on a horse, they say he's shod. Oh, they only say it. Yes. <laughs> but he ain't really shod, is he, Daddy? No, he's not shot. He's shod. If it'll make it any simpler for you, when a horse is shod, he's shooed. When he's shot, he's shooed? Yes. <laughs> Who shoots him? Nobody shoots anybody. <laughs> Why? Because it's against the law. And you don't know how lucky you are. Huh? <laughs> Let's look around. Come oh, on, buy me a pony. Now stop hounding me. You haven't even seen a pony yet. Well, what's all those in that in those stables? They are horses. You're too small to ride a horse. Can you ride a horse, Daddy? Can I ride a horse? Can I ride a horse? Well, can you? <laughs> now listen, young lady. I was practically born in a saddle. I was breaking horses when I was twelve years old. Ho ho. Brother, did I have a seat? What happened to it, Daddy? <laughs> Nothing happened to it. I can rope, jump, anything. I ride just like I'm part of the horse. Which part? Any part. <laughs> as soon as I buy you the pony, I'll give you some real riding lessons. You're good, ain't you, Daddy? You can say that again. You're good, ain't you, Daddy? <laughs> oh, come on. Don't get too close to those stall gates. There's a pony, Daddy. Where? In there. With that big horse. Oh, that? Yes. Well, that's not a pony. That's the big horse's little baby. She's a mare, and she had a cold. She had a cold? Yes. From that, she got a baby? <laughs> that's what they call young horses. Colt. Oh, look at the little fella. <laughs> look at his spindly legs. <laughs> Ever see anything like that? <laughs> uh-huh. <laughs> Where? When you come out of the shower. <laughs> oh, very funny. You think you're very funny. I think so. Well, I don't. I'm built as nice as anybody. And hereafter, I want you to keep my legs to yourself. Come on and buy me a pony. I've got half a mind to take you home without buying anything. <laughs> all right, all right. Let's go around the back. Where's the owner of this broken down place anyway? Daddy. Who are you all looking for, honey child? Oh, he's another blacksmith. <laughs> oh, he is. He's a groom. What's he holding? A bridle. Huh? The groom is holding a bridle. <laughs> are they married? Oh, sorry. I say, boy. Yes, sir? Where's the man who owns the place? You mean Captain DuPont? Mm hmm Well, there he is over there with them mules. He's the one wearing a hat. Yes. <laughs> oh, thanks. Now, come on, Snooks. I'm going to get a pony. I'm going to get a pony. <laughs> oh, here's the man. Excuse me, uh, Captain Dupont? Oui? My name is Higgins. How do you do, sir? I am very happy to know you. Comment ça va? What's he saying, Daddy? Shh. That's French. 
Okay, oh, joli enfant. Uh, this little girl, is he your child? Is it not? Yes, it is. <laughs> we are looking for a pony. Oui, oui. I have a pony for you, little one. Oui, oui. Oui, <laughs> Monsieur Riggins, how much you like to spend? Oh, uh, I figured on spending around twenty-five dollars, Captain. Oh, I see. Uh, little one, how would you like a check land? Oui, oui. Well, step over this way, please. Here is one. Oh, he's a beauty. How you like him? Hmm. You like him, Snooks? No. He's all bald-headed. Well, right now he's have a little mange. But he will soon have a nice coat. Yeah, he could certainly use a better coat. He could use a better pants, too. <laughs> and let the little girl ride him. Come on, jump on his back. Hmm, I'm scared, Daddy. What do you mean you're scared? You want a pony, don't you? Mm-hmm. Well, you'll have to try him out. And you don't have to be afraid with me around. I know all there is to know about riding. Come on, I'll help you mount. All right. Okay. Whee! Now, put your foot in this stirrup. <laughs> uh, uh, excuse me, you are putting her on the wrong side. Mm-hmm. Oh, pardon me. <laughs> Must be a left-handed saddle. <laughs> all right. Sit <laughs> Daisy. Oh, Daddy. Daddy, he's jumping. Well, don't worry. He's just a little tangled up. What happened? Nothing. The pony just got his foot caught in the stirrup. Mm, take me down. What for? If he's going to get on, I'm going to get off. <laughs> <laughs> he's all straight now. I take him for a gallop. You will love him. Now, Snooks, before I buy this pony, I want you to promise me again. What? You must promise me that you'll be good for a whole year. I feel sick, Daddy. Take me off. You feel sick? Yeah. You haven't ridden him yet. I want to get off. Don't you want me to buy the pony? No. All right. Grab hold of me. <clears throat> there. I'm sorry I wasted your time, Captain Dupont. Oh, that is all right. Goodbye. A pair of screwballs. <laughs> well, come on, quick, Daddy. I don't understand you. When I finally go to buy you the pony you've been yelling for, you don't want it. It makes me feel sick. The thought of riding a pony makes you sick? No, the thought of being good for a whole year. Oh, so that's it. That's it, Daddy. Well, take this for nothing at all. <laughs> now do something. Come on, let's go home. Snooks. Do I have to go to school tomorrow? Certainly you have to go to school. Why? Because tomorrow isn't a holiday. And besides, you need plenty of schooling. She certainly does, Daddy. Who asked you? Yeah, who asked you? <laughs> well, I don't want to be a Budinsky, but I think you should be ashamed. Your child can't even count up to ten. I resent that. Snooks can count past ten. I taught her myself. Didn't I, Snooks? Uh-huh. Well, she couldn't do it ten minutes ago. Let me hear you count, Snooks. One, two, three, four, five. Go on. Five, six, seven, eight. Go on. Uh, nine, ten, Jack, Queen, ten. What? Eight. Well, that's fine counting. I can see why the child doesn't do very good in school. Well, arithmetic is very difficult for children. But she does great in grammar and spelling. Oh, go on. She can't even spell cat. I can too. Cat. K-A-T. <laughs> well, she got two letters right. <laughs> uh, Snooks, a cat is not K-A-T. K-A-S? <laughs> well, she's not very good at spelling, but her grammar is great. I was waiting for that. Now, I've got a question that I'd just like to put in here and ask you. I want to go home. Now, wait a minute, Snooks. <laughs> Let's hear the question the big professor has for you. All right. No prompting now, Daddy. <laughs> Listen, Snooks. What's the plural of man? Men. <laughs> How's that? Well, I'm not done yet. Snooks, what's the plural of child? Twins. <laughs> Guess she don't know grammar, huh? She certainly don't. And I know she can't punctuate. She can punctuate as good as you can. <laughs> okay, okay. Snooks, write this sentence down as I give it to you. Uh, why don't you try it too, Daddy? Never mind that. Uh, get ready to write, Snooks. 
I ain't got no pencil. Snooks, I ain't got no pencil. I have no pencil. Well, if nobody ain't got no pencil, let's go home. Oh, come on. <laughs> Bye, Mr. Wilson. Oh, you can't get nowhere with people like that. All right, Professor. Get back on the stand and play. <laughs> 